Good morning, this is a session on palmistry and today I'll discuss about the fate line in detail. Right? Now the fate line starts from the base of the hand and goes up till the middle finger. If found in this manner, it's the best thing to found the hand and it can ensure a bit of luck in your career and can imply that you're working towards your career. It's also referred to as the duty line or the line of responsibility. I've seen people having these lines and still not having a career or not having a job, but still they're very dutiful. They do tend to do things more in a more rational manner and more logical manner in a way that they are duty prone. Whereas a uh, uh, fate line can start from various places. The fate line count counting starts from here, zero, and it goes till the end. Right. If the fate line is found a bit from the heart line or from the headline that would suggest that the carrier or responsibilities are taken care of in the later part of the life. The fate line touches the headline at around 30 years of age and the heart line around 40 to 45 years of age. If the line is very dark then the, that would indicate that the person is a bit focused. Now the fate line can start from the Venus, from the center and from the lunar or the moon. Now if it starts from the lunar or the moon then that would suggest that the person has come to whatever career he has from his own will. Uh, there was no pro family pressure, no family inclination. He came and did most of the things by himself and things like that. Now if it comes from the center it would mean more challenging approach or these pers people are generally more competitive and they tend to have the center on their own. Uh, as to say that they have more focus on themselves. Whereas people uh, or whose fate line comes out from Luna, uh, they like to help others and they're more social creatures, whereas these are more private and individualistic people from whose the line comes from the center. Whereas if it is coming in from the Venus, then these people will, or if it is coming from the lifeline or Venus somewhere from here, and that would suggest that some family had some influence over the person uh, and help them to make the career. Now the fate line again can go into the, all the four mounds depicting its quality. It can go to the Jupiter, it can go to Apollo, it can go to Mercury. Now, if it goes to Mercury it would suggest the person has some kind of business and is doing and his yeah, you know, career is oriented towards there. Similarly if it's going towards Jupiter then status oriented is the drive and towards Saturn the person is more responsible. Whereas if it is in between Two lines and that would indicate that the mounts both the quality of the mount that would indicate if the fate line goes in between the uh, forefinger and the middle finger that is the Jupiter and the Saturn that would indicate that the person is status driven but at the same time is responsible too. So it's a good sign to have a line between uh, two of the mounts it would indicate he is taking the qualities of both the mount in a way. Now sometimes the lines there are more than one line found in the hand. right? There are two job lines or two fate lines. That would indicate two income sources. Uh, maybe the spouse is working, maybe the person has two business areas. So a double fate line is a good line to have. Or it can sometimes be three fate lines, four fate lines. It will generally indicate the uh, uh, the number of sources of income. right? The more the fate lines, the more the income sources generally as observed. Now if the fate line is long, dark and clear, that can uh, mean that the person might have a very good career line and will be very responsible and duty. dutiful. But if the fate line is not present at all, it doesn't mean that the person will not have a career or anything. These people are generally more organized and they don't think anything on destiny and they want to push themselves for everything. So a person not having a destiny line will have a more of a pre-planned life. Everything would be planned and everything would be organized in a way. But yes, of course, the luck factor is a bit more uh, to the people who have the fate line. So yes, to the other side of people tend to do most of the work in a more logical and they don't have much belief in destiny. But the luck factor would be more with the uh, people having this line. Now sometimes there's a gap or sometimes this line is missing. That would indicate the uh, timings at which the person was not very oriented towards career or lost interest in a way. Same way if a square is formed on the fate line then that's a good sign that would protect the person at that instant of time. 
a grill across is not considered auspicious on fate line whereas a circle is also very dangerous on a fate line hence we discussed about the basics of the fate line it's starting from the base or sometimes from the top would indicate the time at which the person was serious about his career if the line is missing at some parts would mean the focus is left upon whereas if the line is clear cut at dark would give enhance the luck people not having these lines do not have a job it's not true it just means that they work a lot and they don't leave anything to destiny and they try to plan everything out if the line is going till the end that would indicate job till the end of the life right it would hit here around 70 80 so yeah the person is busy even in his uh, old age whereas if it stops uh, at certain area much before that then the person would leave the job before that there can there at times there are two or three fate lines and that can indicate more than one income sources now if a line comes and joins the fate line from the moon then that can indicate the presence of an influence the person who helps the person if the influence line goes and joins then that can indicate marriage or a union and if the line after joining there's another line which comes out that might indicate that the person came into the life and left the person so person should be careful if the line comes in and some line goes out of the fate line right so the best fate line is a dark straight fate line dark and clear and a long one would suggest a career throughout a life and the luck factor helping the person right thank you i'm shwetank into palmistry do check my channel shwetank ll and if you have any views any comments please post it on there thank you take care bye bye